Okay, I'm gonna show you guys how to design your own bush ranger. And we're going to make a bit of a portrait of a bush ranger uh, that might have been a member of the Ribbon Gang um, early in Bathurst's history. So I'm just gonna walk you through the steps of how to do it. And just remember, I hope yours does not look like mine. It doesn't have to. Um, I want you guys to put your own fingerprints on this. So we're going to start with a couple of different pieces of paper. I've got a brown piece of paper that's already got a little cut in it, which is going to be the face and the nose. We have a bit of paper here with some type on it. We're going to use that to make the moustache and the beard. And then we have this other funny looking piece of white paper that's actually got a cut in it already. Um, and we are going to use that to make the hat. And once we've drawn the face, the face is going to slip up inside the hat like that. So we're going to start with the hat. I'm just going to move that one out of the way. Okay, so you can make your hat whatever colour you like. I made mine blue in that one, but this one is going to be this kind of crimsony colour. So work out where that cut is and where the two little uh, points on the paper signal the edge of the cut, that's what you wanna keep your eye on to draw the brim of the hat, which is kind of like the letter U on its side. So don't draw your brim so it meets up with the cut. You wanna kind of go around it like that. So you can kind of draw all the way across. It doesn't have to be perfect. The more imperfections in your drawing, the more individual it is. So then we want to draw the top part of the hat. So you guys should draw with your pastels and not your pencils. And the reason is because it makes you draw a lot bigger than you would if you were drawing with a pencil. Um, and you can do a few lines. We're going to cut this out anyway. So once you've drawn those little U shapes at the side, bring a line straight across the top. That's going to be the top part of the hat. And the ribbon gang had ribbons on their hats. So we're gonna have a bit of a band that goes all the way around. Um, and then we're gonna color our hat. But you don't have to color all this part under here. In fact, you should leave a little bit of a gap um, on the edge here because we wanna be able to draw some hair. And if we've colored the whole thing, we won't have a spot for the hair. So I'm just gonna color this really quickly. And you can use more than one color. Your um, pastels always look more fun if you use more than one color. So I'm gonna put a bit of orange in here. And I'm not completely convinced that the Ribbon Gang had hot pink and orange hats, but hey, that is half the fun of being creative. And we can kind of make this hat a little bit darker so it doesn't quite look like our bush rangers just come from the circus. And I might use my purple pastel over the top to make that band nice and heavy. And put a bit of purple on top. A little bit darker on the edges gives it sort of a bit of a 3D effect. Basically you just want lots of colour on there. Lots of different directions. But your goal is to have no white paper left showing up the top there and leave underneath the cut white. So I'm colouring all the way down to the cut in the paper. Just filling in that bit at the top. Don't worry about all these little loosey-goosey bits with your pastels. They are a bit messy, just make friends with that. You don't need to wash your hands every 30 seconds. And maybe a bit of blue to make that band stand out. So that's pretty much all you have to do for the hat. And then we're gonna cut it out. So I'm just gonna stop my video so you don't have to watch me cutting out that hat. Okay, so there's my hat. Next one we're gonna do is the face. So, um, I'm gonna use my white pastel to draw the eyes. And I kind of want my bush ranger to have 
these kind of shifty eyes. So I'm going to draw two lines and again, kind of a semicircle shape underneath and I'm going to color them white. You can do the eyes differently if you like. I just kind of wanted my bushranger to look a bit untrustworthy because let's face it, bushrangers steal things. Um, and then I'm going to grab my skin colored pastel and I just want to get a layer of pastel on top of that brown paper. Now I know it doesn't make a huge difference in terms of color, but I don't like to leave any paper without some sort of color on top of it. So working with the skin color, be careful around the little cut I've already made for the nose. You don't want that to rip. So just be really gentle where you go over the top of that. And you can go all the way to the bottom. You could also leave just a little strip because the mustache is gonna go over the top of that. So basically you can spin the face around to get your pastel all over that shape. Oops, I just got a little smudgy bit of purple and I don't stress about that. I just think it makes your artwork look more interesting with those little happy accidents. So once you've got your eyes, and the background color. I'm gonna get a darker pastel and I'm just gonna kind of define that nose a little bit more. So I've just kind of put a bit of brown around the curve and then you can do, you can just leave it like that if you want or you can have kind of a bit of a line like this that joins the top of the nose to the top of the two eyes. Then I'm gonna get my black pastel and I'm gonna go around those eyes if you do this the other way, if you do the black outline first and then color with white pastel, super smudgy. Oop, starting to look pretty shifty, this guy. He's looking off to the side there. I think he needs some eyebrows. So I'm gonna go straight over the top of where I made that little mistake with the purple pastel. And turn it around as well, go upside down. Mmm, starting to look pretty shifty. Just going to give him some eye lids. And that's pretty much it for the face. And then the last one is going to be the moustache and the beard. And it's going to go under his nose, just like that. So, we're going to start at the top. It doesn't matter which way you turn this page, and it's recycled out of a book, because we like to use recycled materials. So, we're going to draw the moustache first. So you wanna go in sort of two big arcs like this. If you have a different idea for a mustache, a super curly one or something, go for it. However, I think our bush rangers didn't get a lot of trips to the hairdressers or the barber shop in the bush. So I'm going to keep mine kinda of wild and woolly. So give him a little U shape underneath your mustache for his mouth, and then you can give him a nice big furry beard. So I'm just doing the outline at the moment with my pastel. Then I'm gonna come in a little bit heavier and I'm gonna use my brown pastel and I'm gonna give him some hair on his very, very wild beard. Then I'm gonna come in with my other shades of brown because the more colors you use, the more interesting your bush ranger will look. Now, I don't think my bush ranger is terribly young. Or maybe he is. I don't know. We haven't made up that story yet as to what this bush ranger is called. But I do have a grey pastel. And I reckon I might give him a bit of grey in his beard. He has been around for a little while, this guy. So, you don't have to cover all of the paper because we will bring in our paint, which will go straight over the top of the pastel and paint any bits of paper left. I've also got this kind of yellowy color. So this guy's got a very multicolored beard. So I'm just giving lots and lots and lots of colors in his beard. And I might give him some teeth too. Now I'm pretty sure bush rangers didn't have toothbrushes and Colgate. So even though he might have had white teeth at one point in his life. I'm pretty sure they're not white anymore. 
So he might need, he could even be missing a tooth. But that's basically his mouth in there. And then I'm gonna go around the outside just to make it really stand out. And maybe a bit of skin color on his mouth. Oh, smudgy, doesn't matter. It's just to give a, a bit of a hint of what's there anyway. So he's got a couple of white teeth and a very, very dark tooth. All right, so once you've done that, it's time to cut out our beard and then we're gonna stick it all together and I'll show you how to do the body.